guys, how are you? Out in Revolution Land here at the 2019 SIHH with my buddy David Cerato, who is the watch boss of Mont Blanc. Uh, so I guess the first watch I'd like to talk about is every year he makes a watch which is a Minerva chronograph with a Minerva chronograph movement. Excuse me, a Mont Blanc watch with a Minerva chronograph movement, which is from a perspective of someone that loves chronographs, um, is one of the most extraordinary movements that was ever made, right? So maybe you can tell us a little bit about that timepiece on your wrist. Absolutely, great pleasure. This is what collectors call the doctor's watch. Uh, it's a fantastic one. chronograph mono pusher Minerva, 13 lines, what we call the 1321. It's completely and made and finished and decorated. Right. Even the hairspring is done in house. Even yep. the hairspring is done in house. Absolutely, wow. which is uh, rare and rare. How many hairsprings do you guys make uh, for you? Uh, we cannot speak exactly about numbers, but right. uh, for which concerns Minerva, we are staying really in the hundreds uh, and we really okay. keep it very exclusive. That's extraordinary. This one is a limited edition of 100 yes. pieces, for example. Yes. And in terms of the design, we applied it to the new Heritage product line. Yes. With a very, very vintage look that comes from the Minerva chronographs from the 40s. Yes. And it has very, very strong vintage accent that comes from that uh, indexes by dots, yes. what we call the floating ring, so two-tone dials. Yes. It was funny because when I when I went to um, Miami where they were launching these watches, on the way over I was kind of looking at uh, vintage Minerva chronographs from the 1940s, 1950s, and I really particularly enamored with the ones with salmon dials and that had these sort of like multi-layered um, like textures, right? So you have clenage or grain finish or sample, you know, kind of like a sable finish. Then you've got like a sort of circular uh, brush finish as well for the outer outer track, usually applied to like the tachymeter scale or the pulsimeter scale. And then exactly. you have like you know different finishes for also the subdials as well. Absolutely. And it was really interesting because when I showed him one of these photographs on my phone, he said, "That's funny because we've created pretty much this watch, you know, which goes to show that I think there was something in the air in terms of this kind of watch." This uh, well, guy is good. Eh? No, 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 not true. But the thing is um, it's not just a uh, facsimile or copy of um, a vintage timepiece it's using some of these colors some of these textures some of this um, typography to create something that is contemporary right absolutely we never do replica yeah we just take the spirit of the original watch and we find a way of melting it with the zeitgeist yes with contemporary science in such a way that is a the iconic value of the watch that is kept alive can I take a look absolutely with great pleasure and for the color, the salmon dial, we have really championed the original color from uh, the Minerva dials of the 40s and found a way to keep exactly the same shade of pink, right. but with this double texture that gives such yeah. a depth and such a contemporary look to the watch. Really cool. What I loved also, I, this movement is amazing. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a Minerva chronograph movement, but if you haven't, you, can I open this? Yeah, absolutely. Open? So it's completely handmade and yeah. finished with a level of uh, finishing which is absolutely incredible. Yes. And as always, a single watchmaker is doing the watch from beginning to the end. Amazing. I mean, I think this, you know, obviously the Le Mans 2310 in various different incarnations, the Longines 13 ZN, um, but this is definitely one of the, it's Valtteri 72, but this one is, is one of the most iconic, you know, like traditional column wheel laterally coupled uh, chronograph movies I can think of, and it's so beautifully executed. And there's what I love about it is the design language. You know how the the chronograph uh, mechanism has this little sort of devil's tail on it. Is is absolutely always something I love. A lot of smile, uh, little small detail that the collectors That's really right. love. So what I thought was really cool was when Davide launched uh, this watch, which is I guess the you know the the hero product of this year. Absolutely. Um, he also used. A lot of the colorways and the typography to um, extrapolate into more accessibly priced watches as well. Is that absolutely. correct? Absolutely. Do you have some of those here? Or? Yes, absolutely. Should we? Can I have the one that is just next to you? Because the chronograph mono pusher are so are, have become really the signature of uh, uh, the Minerva Yen watches that we are doing. Uh, we have found a way this year working with uh, Celita uh, to do a very special chronograph mono pusher and apply it. Uh, to a price that is uh, 4,700 euros, right. so below 5,000, uh, with all the pleasure of That's a really Chrono cool. Monopusher, which is a, a beautiful complication. That's fantastic. So you still get to have the iconography of a Monopusher chronograph. You get the kind of really cool dial, great feel to the watch as well, uh, but it happens to be close, sealed back, right? Absolutely. Solid back and with the Salita movement in there. Exactly. And it's on a very cool uh, Milanese strap. Uh, tell us about the mesh bracelet. We decided to go for, for Milanese mesh that is on one side really coming back. Now you see it even on uh, 
uh, vintage diving watches, uh, which is not really meant for. Uh, we have done Johnny's a very specific brand that you exactly. have. Exactly. <laughs> and, and it's really very, very comfortable to wear. Right. Uh, the look perfectly fits the vintage look of, uh, of vintage, right. uh, of a, a heritage product line. Yes. And maybe we'll pass this over to Summit and you can Absolutely. give me back your watch. So tell us some more about like what you consider to be the highlights of the 2019 watch here for yourself, Happy Day. Yes, we are uh, we are launching a full new product line yes. of which uh, the Pulsograph the Doctor's Watch is part of, which we call the Heritage. Do we have the Heritage watches? Yeah, in the in the in the first tray. So uh, a new. Uh, New, new full line that we call Heritage, right. that is all inspired in terms of design by, the, by this chronograph of the 40s from Minerva, uh, and that uh, presents uh, uh, a very interesting price point as always, uh, different complication from automatic to day-day uh, uh, to GMT to this beautiful chronograph monopusher. Fantastic. And inside we even have a new perpetual calendar. Oh, nice. A brand new uh, right. caliber that we are bringing in, manufacturer as always. Manufacturer. Uh, as always at very interesting uh, uh, price points. Mm -hmm. So inside uh, the, the Heritage product line we have a Good. different uh, um, uh, level of complication. We have uh, the automatic one, very interesting uh, price point as always, yes. 2150, Fantastic. and very vintage color design yeah. as uh, uh, the pink salmon, but also this uh, very nice color that we call creme caramel, uh, is a pink gold model it's with this uh, aged uh, vintage uh, champagne dial with a very unique. What's, what's the price of this watch? 2150 for the cool automatic, that, and, uh, and we have also a GMT uh, with a pink salmon dial for yeah. 2700 right. euros. And the, the rose gold with the crime caramel? 7900 euros. Very, very vintage uh, execution. And then inside, we have this uh, very nice perpetual calendar uh, with a completely new movement. Three years of development, uh, all made by wheels, possibly. So it's synchronized in. and. Um, and it's controlled by one crown. Exactly. But you've got also the uh, pushers here if you need to set, correct it separately. A absolutely, exactly. Because sometimes when you go too far forward, you need to go to reset. Exactly, okay. and, and if you, on this one, you can go backwards. So it's, ah, forwards and backwards. Crown. Absolutely. So this is actually really cool because this is, a, how much is this? Uh, 24,900 for the 24,900 paint gold um, perpetual calendar, right? Now, if you look at it, it's a perpetual calendar that's synchronized. That means you can turn all the information forward with just a crown. However, and I think IWC, Kirk Klaus was the first guy to, to do this complication. The problem with traditionally is that if you go too far forward, then you can't go backwards, right? But on this one, you can go backwards, you can. which is cool also because there's some brands where you can do that as well. However, what's particularly interesting about this is that in addition to that, there's um, pushers for each of the, the displays as well, meaning you have the additional possibilities, like say your moon phase for whatever reason is just slightly out of tune, right? Uh, this happens to me all the time because I live in Singapore, which is neither in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere. So I just I just synchronize the moon face to what it looks like in the sky. And then when I go to, like for example, New York, it's completely wrong. And so you just want to correct the moon face, for example. And that that's a really cool additional complication to have exactly. or um, feature to have. And we also have a second time zone. So it's also a GMT, perpetual calendar plus second time zone. And a second time zone. Exactly. So and you we'll have a third and of the hour that ah. you can either disclose yes. when you travel or hide behind the, uh, the hour hand. So there's another hour hand that lies underneath the... Exactly, absolutely. Fuck me, that's a lot of value. That's a great watch, man. And yeah. we make it in pink gold, but also in steel at 14,900 euros. And the 14,000 for a steel perpetual calendar synchronized backwards and forwards with all the, the separate um, uh, adjusters as well. Exactly. And a second time zone. So Mont Blanc is also there to represent strong value, basically, as well. Absolutely. Like, it's really the heart of everything that we do. How important is it for you that like a strong value proposition, this is so important for uh, consumers on every level? It's very, very important. Right. And it's really become has uh, really become the signature of, uh, right. of the way of doing uh, watchmaking at Mont Blanc. Yes, because I remember when you, you smashed it with the world time. When you came out with that, it was just like, uh, and then also the, the perpetual as well. Exactly. That's great. Um, Another very interesting uh, watch is the new Geosphere. Nice. This has become really the signature of Mont Blanc, the yeah. iconic product, the yes. Hero One. And you launched it when we were in uh, Colorado together. Exactly. Right? And this is one is a uh, military khaki green with nice. uh, uh, full bronze. Uh, so apparently bronze and green are the colors of the year. Exactly. <laughs> it looks like. It looks like. <laughs> we, we did a bronze and green watch exactly. as well. <laughs> exactly. 
and then uh, a very special Somebody one. Uh, we I love machine. this. So I love these kind of dials, right? I so this is you got tele, tacky, and pulse over, pulse exactly. meter. Exactly. I love watches like this. Absolutely, it's the same that uh, has been sold uh, uh, in November uh, by Philips for sixty thousand. Yes. Yes, uh, exactly. And here is a completely new caliber, Minerva finishing, but chronograph mono pusher and uh, uh, split second. Wow, that's cool. So it's a Rotropont, right? So it's a mono pusher Rotropont. Have you guys had a retro pump before? No. First so this time is the first split second chronograph. So uh, split second chronograph is obviously, you guys know, I'm sure, chronograph where you can press uh, this button here and it will stop one of two chronograph hands so you can read an elapsed time for like a lap. And then you press it again and the two hands will catch, each, uh, catch up, which is why it's called a retro pump because the French are used to, to catch up. But um, I hadn't, uh, haven't seen a Minerva um, Rotropont or a split second chronograph before, so you guys got to come and take a look at this movement because it's stunning. And when we shoot this, please uh, make sure that we actually take note of that. And you guys should also activate it. Can they? Is it functional? Yes. So absolutely. you guys should you should activate it, Summit, um, when for the guys out there on Instagram Live Land because I think they'd love to see it, right? So mono put, uh, the mono pusher is on the top and the split is here. And then the other thing is to show from the front, but also from the back as well, because that movement is stunning. stunning. And then just a quick note about these dials. So these are dials, would you say from the 30s? Or 1935. 1935. Yeah. These are dials that were done by a couple different companies, but they were dials that had three scales integrated into the front of the watch. They had a telemeter. A telemeter is, um, uh, so for example, if you hear thunder, uh, or you know you hear the sound of a lightning strike, you or see the lightning strike, you press the button, and by the time you hear the, the sound of it, uh, it will tell you the distance of that lightning strike to you, right? Exactly. Um, it's also was used a lot in the military for like uh, artillery fire. So when you see an, uh, an explosion, between the time you see the explosion um, and when you hear the sound of the explosion, it will give you the distance of that artillery shell from you. Ideally, you've run away by then, so you don't get yeah. But and it, <laughs> then in addition to that, pulse meter, so you could tell you could tell your pulse rate while the artillery shell was exploding around you, and then of course uh, um, uh, tachymeter as well, which gives you the average speed of, over miles or kilometers, usually kilometers over one kilometer. Uh, start it, you see the start sign or start a reference, you stop it at the completion of the kilometer, and it'll give you the average speed over that kilometer. So all of these scales combine into one, which I think is is really cool, right? Um, okay, here you go. I'm going to give that to you, Summit. You want to operate it for everyone out there in Revolution Land? That's very cool. I hadn't seen that before. Yeah. That's amazing. Crazy. Mm. How difficult was it to integrate a split into a... Uh... Quite difficult. Yeah. The movement is really, really complex. Yes. And it's very thick. Yes. So it's very difficult to integrate it in such a way that the, the watch remains uh, wearable. Wearable, and yeah. enough proportion enough. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, anything else we need to talk about? I, I would like to spend done. the remaining five minutes of saying that Great job, brother. Thank you. Yeah, Thank good you stuff. Very much, yeah. And uh, we're good. Thank you. Uh, you can. Yeah, you should shoot that. And we're good. Thank you.